Hello, and welcome to another one of Sporty's Pilot Shop's Microsoft Flight Simulator 101 videos. Today we're going to focus on how to configure live weather. I find this is very helpful for if we had a flight that we had to scrub because the weather isn't in our favor, we can still digitally jump in an airplane and go fly in those settings and see what that lower cloud layer is like or that really strong crosswind. We'll begin by heading on over to our world map and today we're going to fly out of sunny Los Angeles International Airport. All right, we're going to go ahead and choose runway 25 right that has ample distance for our takeoff. We can see winds are out of 10 at 5 knots and instead of flying in our Cessna 152 we're going to jump in the Cessna 172 steam gauges. All right, so we've got our aircraft selected. We've got our airport selected. Let's go ahead and change our flight conditions. Now, as you can see, there's a lot going on here. Uh, over to the left, our first row is the multiplayer. We can actually have other AI or other simulated flyers uh, put into the system. We're gonna skip that today. We also have live traffic. We're able to import actual airplanes flying in the sky into our digital world. Uh, for sake of this video, we're going to turn that off. We just want to focus on weather. Now, in the custom settings, you can see we can change our live weather to a bunch of different populated settings. We also have cloud layers. In the preset menu, again, the preset settings uh, for whatever you'd like that day. Uh, but for sake of this video, we're just going to go with live weather. It's currently 3.02 p.m. out in L.A. And let's go ahead and jump in that airplane and fly. Okay, so here we are at LAX. We'll go ahead and hit ready to fly. And we're in our 172, the engine is on, the parking brake is engaged. I'm gonna hold my right mouse key, scroll down, disengage our parking brake. We'll scroll back on up with the view so I can see all my instruments plus RPMs. And let's go ahead and get airborne. All right, so we're gonna try and hold uh, runway center line as best as possible. Our gauges are in the green and airspeed is active. And we'll go ahead and rotate right around 60. And let's head on out the airplane. All right, as you can see, we're climbing out. I'm gonna keep us somewhere in between 70 and 80 knots, holding runway center line. And as guest, it is a beautiful sunny day in Los Angeles. Now, I'm not going to get into too many other details about weather. I just wanted to show how to configure it to the live weather at your airport. I think we've accomplished that. Uh, we're going to have more videos coming on how to get more detailed in weather and also airports. So we hope you'll tune in. We hope this video was helpful. And as always, have fun digitally flying. 